Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Shea Marie. Today I'll be doing my March TBR. Before I get started, if you are new to this channel, please don't hesitate to subscribe down below as well as hit the notification bell. But I am shooketh that it is March already. It is shocking because I feel like the year literally just started and somehow I'm already compiling the list of books I want to read for March and... I mean, technically I'm pre-filming this, but it's still already like the end of February. So time flies, it really does. But let's just get on with the books I plan to read for March. The first book that I'm gonna pick up is gonna be my book club pick, and that is Everyone in My Family Has Killed Someone by Benjamin Stevenson. I don't currently have the book with me right now. I'm still waiting for the book club program to send over the copies. It was supposed to be sent over like last week, but somehow things got delayed and they're not even shipped out yet. So hopefully I get a copy soon and then I can distribute it to the rest of my book club members. But I'm really excited about this book. Even though this is not the one that I personally voted for, I have voted for this historical fiction about these women in like World War II or something like that. But I don't think my book club people really care too much about historical fiction. So they end up going with this one, which is supposed to be like a cozy mystery thriller kind of book i don't really know to be honest so we'll see but a lot of people have talked about this at least i've seen it a lot on social media so now i'm like kind of hyped up for it because i've just seen it being discussed a lot so we'll see how this goes but it definitely seems like my book club members are very excited about this book all right then moving on to the five prompts i normally do for each month and i am honestly at this point just like tired of writing it down i just haven't gone around to it so i still have it on my laptop so let's just go through my laptop this wheel over here and let's see what my first book is so let's see okay so it is a graphic novel which is great because I feel like I'm still kind of catching up on books from January. I have one book left on that TBR and I have a couple books left for February that I'm still trying to get through. So having a short book for March will be good because then I can hopefully potentially catch up on some of my reading. But let me go find a graphic novel and I'll be right back. All right, so for my graphic novel pick, I'm going to go with Fence Volume 3 by C.S. Passett or Packet. I have been slowly reading the series. I've really enjoyed it, so I'm going to pick up volume number three. I think this is the last volume I have, and I need, after that, I need to go pick up volumes four and five, and that's all they have out right now. So I'm excited for this book, for this graphic novel. I really enjoyed it, so I definitely can't wait to continue on with the series. All right, moving on to prompt number two. Wow, this is actually amazing manga okay so this is actually so good because now with two books that are very short i feel like i can definitely catch up on my reading for march i haven't decided which one i'm going to read yet for this year in terms of my manga because usually i try to bust out an entire series that has been on my tbr for a while so i have to go through my list and see which manga series i want to tackle this year and then that's the manga that i'll be reading for march so i'll be right back now in terms of my manga pick i'm gonna go with fairy tale volume one this is gonna be the manga series i will hope to tackle i plan to tackle this year i forget how many volumes they are but there's quite a lot so i'm going to tackle maybe a couple of the first couple volumes and then see how that goes that way i'm not just reading just one volume but honestly manga for the most part i can average around three mangas an hour just because the amount of words that are actually in there is very little and you're just like flipping the pages and looking at the illustrations which is amazing so it really doesn't take a lot of time for me to tackle a couple volumes so that's gonna be the plan for march all right now moving on to my third prompt let's see genre hybrid okay so that basically means it'll be like a fantasy romance or a sci-fi fantasy or historical romance things like that where books basically have two genres in it or two very big genres because usually i feel like sure some books are like fantasy there's some romance but it's like very much a subplot so we'll see i think the easiest ones will probably be like fantasy romance or sci-fi fantasy so let me look through my shelves and I will find a book okay so i found the perfect book i had two books that i was kind of debating but i decided to go with this one for the genre hybrid and that is hooked by emily mcintyre this is a book that i've heard good things about but 
also like some negative things about so we'll see this is a fantasy romance um it is a peter pan retelling and it is also a smut so very much a genre hybrid literally perfect for this prompt and we'll see how this goes i've heard that there are some trigger warnings in here which i don't know what they are but to the most part i'm not really triggered by anything so it doesn't matter for me but i'm excited for this book either way and yeah we'll see how this goes all right moving on to my fourth prompt oh my god so far this has been great five star prediction that's pretty awesome because i have a whole list of books that i am trying to tackle this year that are five stars so let me look through that list and find which book i want to tackle for march so for this five star prediction i went through my list of five star predictions i have that video above and down below just want to check that out but from that list i'm going to pick up nevermore by jessica townsend this is a middle grade fantasy that i've heard so much about a couple years ago and since then i haven't heard much but i think it's because the series ended and I know there's two books potentially three or more so we'll see but honestly i'm really excited i just know about this girl who is cursed she's destined to die on her 11th birthday but just when the clock strikes midnight she's whisked away and she goes off to the city of nevermore and things kind of like transpire from there i'm very excited i feel like this will be such a cozy read and cannot wait and then finally fifth prompt which is the last prompt over here let's see Pole pick. To be honest, I'm generally not the biggest fan of pole picks because I do have to like find a couple books and then post them online and then wait at least a day or so and then I can find which book to read. So it definitely takes a bit of progress, but let me get a couple books and see which ones I'll be reading for March. So because everything I've picked so far has been pretty fantasy heavy, for my pole pick, I went with three romances. The first one is Faker by Sarah Smith. It's about this woman who is the only female in a managerial position and she works with all men. And kind of like her struggles as the only female there and then she has been falling in love with one of the construction workers. So we'll see how this goes. I heard really good things prior, but then I feel like the last couple of reviews I've heard about this has been negative. So I way i'm intrigued then the other one is the bookworm crush by lisa brown roberts so this book is about this woman her she's a bookworm her name is amy mcintyre and she's trying to compete for the chance to interview her favorite author but the thing is that level of confidence does not come easy to her so what's the solution a competition coach and the best person for this job is a guy that she's secretly crushing on the local surfer celebrity toff nichols so Definitely intriguing, definitely cute, definitely loving all the vibes here. And then the last book I'm going to put on this poll is going to be The Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armaz. I feel like this one's going to win just because of the sheer popularity of it, but we'll see. I have no idea what this book is about, but I just heard that this guy is like everyone's dream boyfriend, so... I don't know, but these are the three books I'm going to have on the poll. I think I'm going to post it on Discord, Twitter, probably Instagram, and YouTube, and just kind of compile all of it and see which one has the most and go from there so by the time this video goes up the poll should end already so i'll have the book here and i have a feeling it'll be this one so we'll see so anyways these are all the books i'll be reading for the month of march obviously there's a couple missing here because one's a manga one is unknown from the poll pick and one is my book club so you know I just have three really right now, but we'll see how this goes. I'm really excited for the month of March. I feel like my stack is not the craziest, which means I do have a lot of time for some mood reading and catching up with some of my previous TBRs I haven't managed to finish yet. But anyway, that's say for this video. Let me know down below what you're planning to read for the month of March. And if you have read any of these books before, which one did you like best and which one do you recommend that I pick up first? But as always, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It does help on my channel. And if you can see more content of me, please don't hesitate to subscribe down below as well as hit notification bell and as always don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram and i'll see you guys next time bye